everybody, my name is Kelsey. Um, this is my first year beekeeping and I'm going to show you today how I rendered my wax from my beehive in order to make things like lip balm and maybe some soap. Um, this wax here is going to be used for lip balm specifically. So yeah, and I'm going to be melting it in a crock pot. So I'm going to start with the three different types of wax that I have. Um, this first bag here is uh, uncappings from when I harvested my honey. I harvested five frames this year, um, leaving the bees with a full super and then taking off my second super and just harvesting that. Um, so yeah, it was just it was just five frames that this gave me. Uh, I had run it under some hot water initially, so it looks like a little less than it actually is, and it's kind of clumped up, but I've been freezing it. So yeah, that was for my uncappings. This other bag here is actually just from burr comb and stuff that I scraped off during the season um, where the bees made comb that I didn't necessarily want them to make it in. So that's what this bag here is for. And then this big bag over here um, has a piece of wild comb that I had found from a small little swarm like 80 feet up in a pine tree. Um, this bag also contains the wax foundation from my deeps and supers that I had put in when I was first building my hive for my first year beekeep. Um, and I stupidly left it in my car when it was 80 degrees outside and came back to a bunch of max wax melted all over my car. <laughs> Uh, or all over the, the frames, I should say. So I had to replace the frames relatively quickly, and then I didn't want to just kind of throw these away, so I'm using them to melt down as well. Um, it's pure beeswax. It's just made specifically for the frames um, for the bees. So yeah, let's get started. I had purchased these um, paint strainers at Home Depot. It's a one-gallon paint strainer. Uh, there's two in a pack. So I'm just going to put this over the crock pot. Uh, this crock pot was kind of a, a weird shape, or it's an oval shape, and these bags didn't really fit over it, but it's okay because we're just going to make it fit over the lid anyway. Um, I kind of ripped it here when I was filling it, but just only the top section, so it's not going to affect melting my wax at all. But I kind of struggle here trying to get it over the oval crock pot. But yeah, this is uh, where the wax is going to sit in um, and just kind of strain out all the gunk uh, the, the wax foundation that I'm using is like completely clean, so that shouldn't have any issue, but the, the wild comb, um, the like burr comb, and then all the uncappings from my honey supers, those will have some like propolis and like dead bee crap and all that stuff that you don't want in your wax when you're making wax products. So this rendering is basically what's going to clean all this wax, and the strainer is going to help me do that. I'm also going to add um, about three cups of water to the crock pot. The wax, when it melts, it's going to sit on top of the water and help me get it out relatively nicely. Um, it'll harden on top of the water as well. So all the good wax, you know, once it's strained, it'll just kind of lay flat on the water. And you'll see that later once it's hardened a bit. So yeah, we're just going to add three cups to the crock pot here. It also makes it so it doesn't stick to the sides and stuff. And now we're just gonna kind of add the wax on, or wax in, I should say. So there goes my honey uncappings. Just throw that in there. And I'm basically just gonna kind of fill this strainer up to the top of the crock pot and get in as much as I can. just add the lid uh, to the crock pot and we're going to wrap the bag around the lid because we really don't want to leave the bag over the hot sides of the crock pot just in case you know it will melt or catch on fire or anything like that so yeah we just kind of wrap the paint strainer around the lid and then place it on top you should be good to go um, from other people that I've watched videos on doing this and just from some stuff I read it seems that it takes about anywhere from two to three hours on high. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna put it on high and then we're going to come back in an hour and kind of check, check its progress to see what it's doing. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like all in there with water and everything. So yep, I'm gonna set it to high. 
and we will be back in about an hour. So we are back. It's about actually only a half hour, maybe 45 minutes later, and I just wanted to check on it real quick. Um, and it looks to me like a lot of the wax is already starting to melt. So I'm actually going to go ahead You can kind of see the, the bag right there. There's still um, some of my wax foundation left. So I'm going to add that to this and continue to melt it down. So I just added the rest of the wax there. Can I see it? And I'll show you kind of what the progress is looking like. So you can't really tell it just looks like water. But as soon as all that melts, it'll harden and it'll be this big yellow oval basically that I'll take out of the water. All that should rise. So yeah, there's only a little bit left. You can already kind of see the gunk that the strainer's straining out, which is great. So yeah, um, I'm gonna come back in, in another hour or so to check the progress. All right, it has now been another 45-ish minutes or so, and I have just come back to check on the wax, and it looks like it's completely melted. So I'll just kind of show you through the cover here. You can't really see much, but I'll put this down. see there's nothing left at the bottom here ex aside from nasty propolis and gunk and stuff that you don't want in your wax and ring. You see that? And then in the crock pot is just melted wax that I'm going to turn the crock pot off and let sit. And yeah. I will come back with the results in another couple hours to see how it's hardened. have left this crock pot on high with the wax melting inside of the filter and it looks like we've got ourselves a nice hardened blob or block of wax here so I'm just pouring out the water it was kind of tricky to get out of this pot here but here it is and I got a lot more than I was expecting because watching other videos of other people with their wax it looked like they got a lot thinner results and mine was relatively thick but I think it just might be the size of the crock pot you use but yeah here it is both sides um, there's a little bit of impurities on the bottom here but as other people do you just kind of scrape it off which I'm about to do um, but other than that it looks really good and I really don't feel like I need to melt this down again um, if you happen to have a lot of gunk on the bottom and you feel like it could go through um, another filtration you can absolutely do it a second time or a third time I mean people do this multiple times to get the wax as pure as possible but I mean I really like the, like this yellow color and I don't see a lot um, of issues with it so I think I'm going to leave it as is and use this for my lip balm um, I'm just trying to reattach the filter to the crock pot in order to scrape off this teeny bit of gunk that's on the bottom here And here we have it, a nice block of wax, ready to go, ready to be used for lip balm, which I'll be making a new video on later. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you kind of like these videos. I'll be trying to make more of them as I go along in my little beekeeping journey. Thanks.